All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel, and once again, welcome to today's video, which is how to install the Facebook Pixel onto your ClickFunnels landing pages. So guys, again, this is gonna be a step-by-step -step tutorial, so let's not waste any more time, and let's jump right into it. So what I'm gonna start by doing is building out a funnel from scratch, and I'm gonna do this completely on the spot here for you guys to show you the exact process and what it looks like. So what you're gonna do is once you're in, a, in your ClickFunnels account, and this is one of the few, one of a few uh, ClickFunnels accounts that I have. Going to come over here, hit Add New, and then you're just going to uh, select Classic Funnel Builder. And for the sake of this example, I'm just going to hit Collect Emails, and we're going to call this Test Funnel Number One. Whoops, Test Funnel. We're going to kill, uh, click Build Funnel. And guys, once you hit Build Funnel, the funnel literally just populates super quickly in like a second. And for the sake of this example, I'm just going to uh, choose this first template here. Now, once we've got our funnel built, what we have to do is we actually have to um, set up our Facebook pixel, right? So what we're gonna come over here and do is uh, gonna come to our Facebook ads manager, which guys, if you're not sure, whoops, let me take a step back. If you're not sure how to um, get to your ads over that in this video, it's like, it's really, really easy. Um, so once you're in your, in your Facebook ads manager, you're gonna come over here to the left, hit this little uh, stacky thing over here, and you're gonna click on pixels. Now guys, for me, it's gonna look a little different because I've already created my Facebook Pixel. For you, however, if you haven't created yours, you're gonna see a big button that says Setup. Now, I'll show you how I can see that for myself as well. And for me, I'm gonna come over here and click Details. And right over here, Setup. And this is the kind of button you're gonna see when you first go to create your Facebook Pixel is a button that says Setup. What you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to click that button and you're gonna come over here, specifically click manually install the code yourself not this one not this one this one here manually install the code yourself right now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come down here to number two copy the entire pixel code and paste it into the website header just come here click on copy code to clipboard or boom now once you've copied it to your clipboard you're going to want to come back to your click funnels uh, account uh, come over here to the landing page or the funnel that you just built come to edit page right give it a sec here and now what you want to do guys this is super simple it's not complicated at all come over here to settings scroll down go to tracking code come over here so make sure you select the header code not the footer the footer code make sure you select the header code come over here but boom just paste in your Facebook pixel and there you go so now once we do what once we paste it into the uh, text box we come over here and we X out hit save now, yeah, it's going to ask us to, I'm just going to call this test because it's in a test funnel. Uh, we save it. Now we come back to our ClickFunnels account. Guys, again, this is super simple. Come back here. Now what we're going to want to do is click on this little arrow thingy here to actually open up the funnel on the, the direct uh, page, right? Come over here, copy this. Now, guys, I'm only doing this because I have no idea why, but for some reason my computer has been acting fucking stupid lately. Um, for some reason when I'm in a regular window not an, not an incognito tab my Facebook just like doesn't work so I can't even get into my ads manager that's why unfortunately for some reason I have to use an incognito tab it's super weird um, but any other site works perfectly fine so uh, what I'm going to do is come over here to a new tab and again remember we just copied our link for our funnel we're going to come over here and paste that right now what we're going to do is guys let me explain what's going on here what you want to do in order to see if a Facebook pixel is installed on a website, any website, what you want to do is you want to make sure you have this extension right here. This is called the Facebook pixel helper. I'm sure most of you guys watching this video are already very familiar with this. If you're not, you can literally come over here, Facebook pixel helper. Okay. You Google that. Um, you come over here to the Chrome web store and you can just install thingy up here which I already have it added so I'm not gonna do it but it just adds that onto your Chrome extension and literally any website you go to you can check to see if it has a Facebook pixel on it so now that we have uh, in installed the code onto the funnel we just created which I just showed you to do now you can come over here once you have the Facebook pixel helper uh, extension installed come over here and because if, if it's green it means your Facebook pixel is installed so we successfully installed the uh, Facebook tracking pixel into our funnel or our website. So guys, again, it's super simple. It's really not 
uh, complicated at all to set up your pixel where it gets a little um, not confusing but where it gets a little bit more complex a little bit of a higher level is where you start to set up uh, different event codes and um, specific tracking pixels pickles specific uh, tracking pixels for specific pages of your funnel um, which again the whole point of installing these pixels is to do retargeting um, so guys the, the this video specifically was all about just getting your pixel set up um, you know because really I see a lot of people that are you know they have their websites or they have their funnels either for their clients or for themselves and they're getting a decent amount of traffic but they're not tracking that traffic and as a result you're not able to retarget retarget, retarget the people that are going to the pages that you have so this is super important as a marketer to really have everything uh, down to science in terms of tracking and knowing what's going on with your sites so guys having a pixel installed is a must and honestly guys having this basic pixel is really just the tip of the iceberg where it really starts to get crazy is when you start to create custom audiences and look like audiences based on you know different phases and stages of the buying process that your prospect is in that's really the sort of like advanced Facebook advertising and Facebook targeting type stuff which again is not the point of this video this is just to um, get you to understand and install the pixel so guys I hope it helped um, it's really not a long video today I just want to get this tutorial over to you so that in case you haven't installed your pixel yet on your funnels now you know how to do it so go ahead install your pixel so you can start tracking the visitors to your site and you can start eventually retargeting those people and make your ad campaigns that much more successful again whether it's for yourself for your clients whoever you're running ads for you want your ads to be successful you want to have a achieve a high ROI so this is one of the first steps in doing that so once again guys I am glad that I can get this video to, to you I hope it helped and I will see you in the next video I'm out Thank you.